like, I'm, I'm not paying for the suit. I'm not paying for the suit and the limo. She's got to pay for one of them. I if told she's, her, if it's you're 2019, paying for the I can't pay for both of them. It's one or the other, and I'm not doing both. As I long repeat. as I don't buy the corsage. Welcome to Tailoring Is Us. How may we stitch you up today? Yes, hi, we're here to get some suits tailored. Well, we have quite the selection to suit your needs. If you come right over here, I can show you some options. And... Uh, actually, we brought some in ourselves. Mm -hmm. We just uh, need them tailored. What? You think you can just bring some outside foreign suit in here and expect to get it tailored? Um, yeah, it, it says tailoring available on the door, I believe. Does it now? Yes, it does. Oh, Tucker put that up yesterday. <laughs> Let me go get him for you. What kind of operation are they running here? I don't know, just go with it, Mark. You wanna look good, don't you? Yeah. This guy is supposedly the best. Well, okay, I want to wear what's right. I want okay, you to look good for prom. No, I, I agree. I want to look good too. Thank you. Nobody cares about your appendicitis, Heather. Well, when I'm dead. Ah, put a sock in it, you old hag. I'm 29. Hey, buddy, are you supposed to be smoking in here? Of course I am. I used to be a fireman. What do you know? We're here to get our suits tailored. Are you the tailor? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. How would you know? It says it right there on your name tag. All right, you got me. My name's Tucker, Tucker the Tailor. I do the tailoring. Uh, yeah, it's on your name tag. We covered that. So, could you tailor? What the hell do you want? We just need to get our suits tailored. We heard you were one of the best. No, not one of the best. The best. I've been tailoring suits for over 35 years, son. They call me Tucker. The tailor. Understood, buddy. Come on, let's get to the point here. So, could you tell us? I remember our... when I was back in World War II. Twenty-five of us would board the plane, get dropped off in the middle of the jungle. All twenty-five of us. Three weeks. Twenty-five suits. Twenty-five military uniforms, all made of Chinese fabrics, the cheapest fabrics money could buy. Because I can, Heather! And I swear on my own two pet legs that if you're a quiet hound back there, I'm gonna come back there and sew your mouth up myself! Do you realize how many uniforms were violated during the war? The jungle was full of thorns. It was non-stop tailoring for three weeks. Those boys were lucky to have anything covering their drawers after that fight. Jimmy's breeches were ripped to shreds after he crawled through a booby trap. I had to use his skid-marked underwear to save his pants. The next day, he got Agent Orange all over his package. I had to get it amputated. He's in a nursing facility right now, on oxygen. You wouldn't believe the things they do to you. And Tucker, <laughs> seriously, we're on limited time here. Time? That's what Pablo the pilot said right before the chopper crashed and I lost all my materials! Come on, Tucker! All right, would you just step over here, please? <clears throat> Mighty fine neck you have there. Oh, thank you. My mom always said I wanted Your to... Your mother? Run. Yeah. Um, Your my, mother? My, 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 my mom. mother was killed the year after I left for the war. A group of men raided her house and <laughs> choked her with a steel chain. <laughs> they attached her to a ceiling fan and left it on high power. They call it the Flying Mama. Three days later when they found her body, only the head was attached. She looked like a damn rotisserie chicken. Stop yelling about your mom. Hey! What did I say? That's right. I yell whenever I want. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. How would you like your pants done? Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, let me go. Raw? Okay. Medium? Well done? How do you like them done, son? What are you cooking a steak here? Come on, what are you doing? You want me to just fit the pants, don't you? Just fit the pants. Just fit the pants. That's all anybody wants these days. Everybody wants the slim fit. 
ball busting, cock clenching pants. There's no room in them anymore. Not enough to even put your hands in, let alone slip in a phone. Whatever happened to the length, the slack, the full room? Mr. Tucker, Priest, oh. drop the needle and thread. Oh, oh my God. We're here for your arrest. Oh no, they found me. Heather! Officer, I'm innocent! Oh! Ah! Officers, I'm innocent! But you're lying. We know you've been getting your materials from China. That's a third degree violation of your license. What are you talking about? I only use the finest materials made in the old US of A. Shut up. We're booking you and bringing you in. You don't understand. It was just too expensive. I wasn't making a profit. I was losing too much money. I would have lost my business. Yeah, save your plea for the judge. I would have lost my business. Heather! 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 Get out of here, Heather! Heather! I can't stop resisting. It's always next year's prom. I'm a senior. Well, I guess we could always just go to Men's Warehouse. With those prices, it's worse than this guy. No, they got the, the buy one suit, get three free deal. The buy, what do we got, a third arm? I don't know why we're doing that uh, for. Thank goodness, is he gone? About time they came. Come in the back, boys, I'll get you situated. Finally. Sweet. 